Hi guys, it's Stephanie C. Harper, publisher of Career Magazine, and today is Authorpreneur Thursday, so I have another tip for my authors. Uh, today I want to talk to you a little bit about something that I've been seeing um, happening on our um, author boards and in some of our writing groups, and it really, really came to light this week while talking with a business partner of mine who is in the New York area and owns a publishing company. Uh, you know, when you work in the business of people, you just have funny moments and it's wonderful to be able to have people in your circle to share people moments with. And so this tip actually comes out of a chuckle that we got this week, uh, a people moment that we had. But it's it's something that I have seen often. So I do want to share uh, this little bit of information with you. So our chuckle came from um, a book that she had received that an author wrote uh, wanting to be published by her company and the foreword of the book was written by the author. Okay, so you guys know where I'm going today. I want to talk about the foreword, the preface, and the introduction because they are not the same. As an author, you must understand, again, you know, I tell you guys all the time to do as much research as you can um, in the book industry so that you don't look like a novice author when you come out or that so that you don't look like a person who's uneducated in the field. So an author who writes their own foreword is like, ch -ch 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 -ch. I don't know what I'm doing. So I want to talk to you guys about that today. And I'm just going to break down the three for you so that you can be clear about it. A forward, which is spelled F-O-R-E-W-O-R-D, not forward, F-O-R-W-A-R-D, as in fast forward. But the word forward um, uh, first was used in the mid-19th century. And it's, um, it's actually a short writing at the beginning of the book or a piece of literature, and it is not written by the author. It's usually written by someone other than the primary author of the work, and it tells of the interaction between the writer and the uh, writer of the foreword and the book's primary author, or it tells the story of the book, you know. So keep in mind that the foreword is not written by the author of the work. Now that brings you to the forward and, or, or to the preface, 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 and the introduction. Um, the forward is very commonly confused with the preface. Now the preface is written by the author, and it generally covers um, a story of how the book came to be. You know, I wrote this book because, or this book is my personal triumph, or um, I'm writing this book because I have experience in this or that. And I'm telling you, uh, the reason for this book is for this and what I hope to accomplish with this book. That's what your preface does. So keep in mind that your forward and your preface are not the same. And then, of course, you have your introduction. Your introduction um, is, is a, more about essential information, you know, it's it's kind of like when a person is introducing another person to you. You say hello. This is this is Dion, and he is the producer of Career Magazine TV, and that sets the stage as to why you need to know that person. So keep in mind that your forward, your preface, and your introduction are not the same. So I hope that you've enjoyed this tip for Authorpreneur Thursday. Stephanie C. Harper with Career Magazine, and we'll talk next week. Bye now.